This is the very edge of the ice sheet, and scientists here have discovered that it's in retreat at an amazing speed. To give you a sense of scale, this massive wall of ice behind me is dropping in height at a rate of one meter every month. I was last year in this incredibly dramatic landscape 15 years ago, and scientists back then were worried about the speed of the melting. So I'm keen to see what's happening right now. first impression is that it's incredibly, well, dirty. There are these great patches of what, well, seems to be dust. In fact, it's sediment, it's pollution that's blown here from power stations miles away. And a major scientific advance in understanding since I was last here on this glacier 15 years ago is that a lot of this is actually algae. It's hard to get your head round this idea, but where I'm walking right now, back in 2004, was under an enormous mass of ice. What's happened is that a huge quantity of it has just vanished. Not only has the glacier retreated back to where it is now, but it's also got an awful lot thinner. In fact, and it's very difficult to imagine this, back in 2004, it would have been a hundred meters thicker than it is now. That's like having a 30-story building sitting on top. It's all just going at an incredible speed. Eventually, all of this ice will melt and raise the level of the ocean, only by a tiny fraction. But in the decades ahead, as the planet heats up, more ice here will melt, with potentially catastrophic implications right around the world. For low-lying countries like Bangladesh, even a small rise in sea level could pose a real danger. But if the melting accelerates, Florida and many other places will be severely affected during the course of this century. But in the worst-case scenario, parts of eastern England and dozens of cities around the world could actually go under unless new defences are built for them. It's been amazing to see what's happened to this place. And it begs the question about well, what's going to happen to the glacier and so many others in the next 15 years. And what that means for sea levels right around the world.